Hi, um, my name is Nisha. I'm from Lekka, but I'm based in KL for almost four years now. And I'm a transsexual. Besides being a program manager for the transgender program in PT Foundation, I'm also an activist for my community. So, yeah, basically, I'm working for the community and so I am from the community, so I understand how my community feels. Every day when I come into the office, I will have to face my clients. Um, I will ask them if there's any issues, problem, whatever, and, and, and they will come to me actually if they have any problems regarding law, regarding being harassed by the public or whatever. And besides that, uh, I have to deal with my other stuff, whereby we, ha uh, we have seven outreach workers and one coordinator. So they will come to me and I will have to assist them in whatever manner I can assist. And beside that, coming to the office, the first thing I, I got to do is open my email to see whether I have any jobs or meetings, interviews or extra extra or whatever. So my job in, I mean working is so far with the NGO, I feel that um, my duty is that it's, 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 it's like <laughs> there's no schedule because every time you have new things coming in, we have to be prepared all the time. And so I have to be prepared so when it comes to people coming into our center to ask about what we're doing here, this and that. And because again, uh, PD Foundation as part of the program is transgender program. It's, it's still a new thing for people out there. You know, people still feel, what program are we doing here? What, what, what are we doing here? You know, what are we achieving? So as a part of my job, I feel I, I have a big responsibility to talk on behalf of PD Foundation to the society out there. Even though uh, coming from a background where I did not know much about computer, but uh, because of my persistence of learning new things, okay, uh, I have to, as part of my job, to, to, to be able to, to do things in a computer, to, to open my emails, to do reporting and this and that. So yeah, it's part of, it, it's, it's something that I have to do. And, just recently, uh, I got myself a laptop. Coming from a background where I didn't have much, much uh, opportunity to learn computer, okay. Uh, when I came to PD Foundation, that's where I started to learn more about computer. And with the assistant of my manager, okay, which is Celestri Arifane, and also my senior manager, Mitch, who would always teach me what and what, which and which, you know. So I have a lots of questions asking them. So I learned a lot of things from my idol actually, which is Celestri Arifane. Just last three. So basically, I look at her and I, 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 I'm an observer. Okay, basically, I observe people and I learn from how they talk, how they present, how they do and that. So yeah, I have to be in the office at nine o'clock in the morning. So I leave home around eight o'clock. Again, from coming from Ampang to KL, it's, it's a bit jam. <laughs> but I'll be here by nine o'clock and finish at six. I'm a, I'm a homely person, okay, usually after work I'll just straight away with my boyfriend, go back home. Uh, if I have time, I'll cook because my boyfriend and my mom loves my cooking. But if I don't have time, then my mom will cook. So, and again, uh, my mom and my boyfriend always tell, tells me that, that I'm very fussy when it comes to cleanliness. Because the first thing that I reach home is my broom and my vacuum. So, yeah. Working with the community and so, you know, sometimes we have to have talks with people up there, the authorities, government, this and that. It's kind of mind stressing. So, usually when I go back home, it's, just, it's, it's all about not, not tired in the sense of my body, but in my mind. So, yeah, now for me to relax myself is only home. So, that's why I'm, I'm very particular about my home, even though I'm staying in a small flat, but I'm, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll arrange it as if it's, a, it's like a condominium or something because I feel regardless of whatever home you're staying, whatever size you're staying, whether it's a big apartment or small, small apartment, you can always make it a relaxing and comfortable place for yourself. I love to work with PG. I enjoy working in PG Foundation. Uh, first of all, it's because of PG Foundation is the one that gave me the opportunity to work because before this I was involved in sex work. 
uh, but because PD Foundation gave me this opportunity from being a part-time outreach worker, then I, I, I end up being a full-time outreach worker, then I was promoted to the dropping coordinator, and now just recently I was given a chance to be the program manager for the transgender program. So again, it's just not because of promotion. Again, it's it's, it's about me working with the community. That's that's the best part of it. Most of the transgender community that comes here, we do not treat them differently. We treat them as friends, and it's all mixture. It's all mixture. We are transgender community. We have the transverse type. We have cross dressers. We have drag queens. Every one of people be coming here, and so they come from various backgrounds. Uh, they could be from the sex worker background. They could be even working working in a five star hotel, in management side, in in all kind of backgrounds. As I am working for the transgender program. As you know, in Malaysia, there is only one program in Malaysia that has the transgender program, whereby it's from PT Foundation. So, yeah, you just you just imagine throughout the whole Malaysia, and we are, we've got only one program. So of course, people coming to PT Foundation, especially the transgender program. Our main objective is basically prevention of HIV and giving information, education. Uh, but at the same time, for us to deal with uh, prevention and education of HIV AIDS, we have to deal about the person itself or the community itself. Uh, whereby uh, a transgender community in Malaysia, as we know, it's a, it's a taboo community whereby they face lots of discrimination, lots of prejudice out there. So uh, as part of that, uh, we do assist them in, in many ways. For example, we have a legal aid clinic every, every Thursday where we provide free... Um, what it free legal advice for for them out there, regardless of whatever situation, whether it's from the authorities, whether from housing loan, whether from work wise or anything. So we will assist them, and so um, when it comes to health issues, okay, uh, most trans most transgender people, uh, especially transsexual people, uh, they will find quite quite difficult for them to have help. To, to go to the hospital, this and that. So we provide them assistance. We have our worker who will assist them for health issues, this and that. Besides that, uh, for people who are transgender or, or, or whatever, who are, who are positive, we will even give them support, peer support, this and that. As a transgender myself, uh, I feel that if I were to go to a, to a counsellor who is either male or female, they wouldn't un understand my issue because only a transgender would understand a transgender issue. So here, we, we provide them peer counselling. And meanwhile, in, in our centre here, uh, we provide, as, as you know, we are open from 9 to 6, okay, and we have regular clients who are so homeless. So they can come to our centre, uh, we provide them uh, breakfast, uh, lunch time, tea time, and they have place for them to stay, and so place for them to uh, take the shower, wash their clothes, this and that. So, yeah, that's part of it.